bring up for a couple of reasons. I think one is that it's intending on the intense dedication and generosity of the patrons, right? Uh, and that's important for the policy that requires people to support it. So we, we need to be able to look at these questions and rely on all these questions that they come as a support. The second is, I think, we're the only ones who really use the website. The argument for me is that we've got to use the tool of the 21st century. So, just if you and I just spend a lot of time in libraries, now we can spend much more time in the region. We could afford it before. The biggest problem is an incredible library, and it's a library, as you know, that's been doing this stuff since the old time libraries. There's a low bank there from the university, but at night, there's the ground and is essentially going through old books. And they the photograph them and then put them on the website. Imagine if we were school students at Stanford University of Heaven Park and Mountain, next to them is a road bike which literally has hands going through classes, books, and papers, and putting them on forever. So there are about four or five major libraries in the Eastern Sound Commission that are going to go on the internet. And the Vatican Library, which is uh, with the Library of Congress, one of the two great libraries in the world, uh, about with uh, so the internet is going to become the equivalent of what the old library of Alexandria was that they were done in the past of them. You mentioned the old people. Well, I think we have had proper taxes for a variety of reasons. It's not just one. Uh, first of all, we have a very small state, and we have a thousand of the uh, the late uh, Speaker of the House, I'm going to call the Minister of Matters, and there are a variety of reasons for that. Uh, that's expensive. That's a duplication of that that is expensive. I think the second reason is we have a pension system that is really out of control. People retiring at a very early age, people allowing to have multiple positions where they can contribute to the pension system. Uh, double, double, triple dip in one file as it's got four jobs. Um, and I think that's a terribly expensive operation, and that is the work for us. Um, the way we do business in New Jersey in general tends to be very expensive for public agencies. Um, we don't get the best giving that we should for the broad reasons. We're also an expensive state office. We have house per capita income in the nation. So perhaps we don't understand sometimes how expensive New Jersey is because a lot of people are making a little bit dumber and don't feel it. But I think those are some of the issues that the state legislature is looking at. We went through a real blood draft in this summer over those in the sales cards. So there's the bottom building we want to go into next week we find out that it's very well going to court. So I think that that was so important as a way of protecting the pension system in the state, but you have not money very well to the pension system. The third is the one that's a quick back package. There could be a little bit of the under What about so has the state sort of caught up with other kinds of changes in the world, for example, the state Now, we don't tax the system generally because the states that really represent powerful lobbies or they represent professionals that are extremely powerful. We would put that as a good example. Um, our assembly is very good assembly as a start for some reason, but the one issue we want to focus on is the taxing of uh, athletic clubs and sort of things that they shouldn't be done because we all have a vested interest in being, in, in being involved in physical activity and fighting obesity. And the belief is that somehow people that are dedicated to physical fitness are going to be kept away because they have to face that. It's not quite true, that's it. Would that be any kind of work that we do? Would it be done in game? If you say if you, if you are in tip-top shape, then you can avoid paying, paying your taxes to the... Uh, to, to the state. Uh, but all of those areas that they unlock is very powerful. 
to go through our office and direct our work to the state legislature. And uh, I enjoy very much doing that because I'm constantly entertaining and especially the Senate and the legislature's discussion to see people coming in. They're trying to protect their interests. And I think that really is one of the problems that that uh, mm-hmm. is going to be. Do you know about New Jersey from the other state? I know that we're in New York State that tends to be a commission for the United States court. New Jersey really looks like a part of the state. It's not true. Well, I think that a lot of that happens. And I suppose that in Washington, D.C., I mean, we just look down closely and we understand the importance of it. It's interesting with liberalism, which basically as long as one has to have a piece of pie, if I get my piece of pie, I really don't care if it's not so bad. Two thirds of the people of New Jersey support the recommendations of these four committees that are going to be on our website. I don't mean I don't care if it's because the past and the others who have the best of interest in each of those old systems are really going to continue uh, to trust to keep those systems. No, it isn't. And the study is done by tax numbers, which is a very conservative group. Those are the New Jersey taxes are much higher than they are in Wyoming. It's absolutely true. And there are a lot of reasons why they're higher than they do in Wyoming. But if you ask if the person who you're going to study, a major research study in New Jersey or Wyoming, I don't think the, the board of that corporation is going to spend much time discussing where we do Wyoming. The tax is not the only thing that's important. Uh, what is important really is the ability to be close to centers of knowledge, to be close to centers of distribution, uh, to be in a state that has a fairly high level of turning out. New Jersey has always been very good at that, but as we have an article written by Bob Lucky, who is very well known at Bell Labs and then Doug Cordial, arguing that the problem in New Jersey really is the decline in that technology phase. First, the decline of the place in, in the telecommunications industry, but then all the decline is the place in the technology industry. Yeah, I think we're 